man. Like so many people respect your platform, you are a celebrity. You got millions of people that listen to you on a daily basis. You got you got a partner of yours who who is is accused of some very serious allegations. Millions of dollars have been alleged to be scammed at this point, right? I want to ask you first and so there was nothing that you can buy. Now, has anybody ever gave me a dollar, a dime, a nickel, a quarter, a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, a five hundred thousand, a million? Not one person. Because I'm making my business not to take money from nobody. And there's nobody on this live, and there's nobody <clears throat> in here that could ever say envy, they gave envy a dollar. So how, how, has your, how has your business dealings been with Caesar? Some have been great, some haven't been. Some have been really good and I made a lot of money and some have been slow. And that's why I say when, when people invest money, sometimes it goes like this, right? And you know this. I didn't hit with, with Caesar a couple of times and flip money in less than 30 days. Some of my builders, like the school, we still got, and I haven't got my money back yet. But I know that's part of the game. But I also do know there's certain things that need to happen. Like when it comes to Caesar, you know, we've had a conversation, and I spoke to him, and I spoke to Jen, and I told him if he does, and I asked him personally, I said, do you owe people money? Does he owe you money? We have an investment together that we're going to sell. He does not owe me money. We partnered up on a property. We partnered up on a property. Property does he owe, half. Owe you money, DJ Envy? It's a school. Let me tell you. I'm, I, I don't, I, I don't you and I talked that. offline, DJ Envy. No, Can't I'm going to tell you, that. me and Caesar, me and Caesar, we bought a school. That's the only outstanding deal that we have. That school never came back, and that school is not done yet. For you to leave it, you know, in court, and then after the court is done, then you could worry about your, you know, court of public opinion. But they always tell you to make sure that you make sure that your court concerns are the most important. Yeah. And I'm dealing with the same thing because I'm being sued as well. And I can't say anything because my attorney tells me I can't say anything into the court case. You me somebody touch them? No. <laughs> oh, yo, it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in on DJ Envy and the roller coaster ride dog been on these past couple summer months. We started out as the back and forth with him and Rick Ross, and in the beginning it was all jokes and fun, but then it got super disrespectful and turned up and was one of the biggest talking points online that week. But in the midst of all that happening, it started surfacing online that Envy was possibly in getting alleged to be involved in a Ponzi scheme, scam with real estate investments and things like that. And I put that live in the beginning because he had spoke with Tony the Closer. People was accusing him and his business partner, Caesar for taking money and not returning on what they was promising people. Now, Envy did come out and say, nigga, I ain't did nothing like that. That ain't what y'all claiming it is. And his partner, Caesar said the same thing. Hey, man, everything clean over here. DJ Envy ain't did no bad business. And everybody that invested with me, this thing is an investment. Sometimes they return, sometimes they don't. I don't know. I wasn't involved. But then we see these lawsuits come out for $1.5 million on these supposed investments for an apartment complex that DJ Envy, Caesar, and his wife was supposed to be involved in out there. But now DJ Envy is letting it be known because he has came back with a motion to push against this, and it says this. According to court documents obtained by the Shade Room, Envy says he is not and never was an employee or representative of neither the Taylor Company nor Flip to D Dow. He adds that he believes the plaintiffs named him in the lawsuit solely to exploit his celebrity status and to sensationalize the case. Caesar Pena previously corroborated Envy's stories, confirming that the veteran DJ is not and never was employed by Flip to Dial. He stated that Anthony Barone, his wife, and himself are the only members of the company. DJ Envy also claims that he is a victim himself and lost about $500,000 on a separate project with the penis to renovate, reposition a former school into an apartment building. The couple allegedly promised Envy that he will return his initial investment within one year and will receive a monthly dividend of roughly 17000 However, Envy apparently is yet to receive any distributions or return of capital in connection with the project. 
The collective are due back in court on September 8th to iron out the dispute. Now, that's a different tune right there. With Envy putting that in, it's separating himself from that. It is what it is. And we did see Caesar come out and say Envy had no wrongdoing, but according to these write-ups and documents, I'm not involved. That tune right there of Envy saying he's a victim of the finesse also for 500000 that changes everything right there. And that's the only way I can take it. But if I'm wrong, I clear it up. But Caesar came out and let it be known, keep his wife out of it, that she ain't got nothing to do with this. She's been holding him down and working. And people have basically left him out to dry, dirtying up his name. And he say he going to get it all cleared up and understood. And people who's tearing his wife down and him down, he going to get everything straightened out. And he don't care what nobody got to say. And like I told y'all before, these things get tricky in business. I'm the nigga like this. I haven't saw no facts. I don't know how everything supposed to pan out in these investments or seminars and things like that. But I know in that field, I'm not going to put that on Envy. I'm not going to put that on Caesar or his wife because I haven't saw no facts. But I do know that field got a lot of finessing and scamming and using all type of plays to get over on people. That's why I would never take a nigga celebrity status for it, like DJ Envy. I'm going to go do my own research. I'm going to get everything understood. Does this make sense? I'm not going to put my last dollars on the table or all my hard-earned money invested into something that I ain't willing to lose myself because I'm going to be real with y'all. Nobody should be getting finessed. Nobody should be getting scammed. That ain't the way to go. But if you did hand your money over to somebody and they finessed you out of it and it ain't just no straight up taking and robbery and just, hey, I did this and ran off with your bread, at the end of the day, you're going to have to take responsibility unless it's clean cut in the courtroom, clean cut that you got finessed and scammed. But we shall see. I believe in innocent till proven guilty. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming. I just be wanting to put all sides out there. Envy put the motion in. Uh, Caesar say he innocent. Everything will come out as facts. Tell me what y'all think. More coming.